Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how you can compress a video into image resolve without sacrificing too much quality. So let's get right into it. Now, it is simply not possible to not lose quality once you're compressing a video. Uh, if you compress the size down, it will need to sacrifice some data in it in order to work. Uh, so it is simply not possible to have the same quality with a lower, uh, well, size. It is simply not possible. The only thing that you can do, you can zip it up, you can compress it in different ways, and then once you uncompress it, it'll be uh, the video in its original size and original quality. However, the only way that you can compress a video is by sacrificing quality, and that is it. However, you can, uh, well, muck around with the settings a little bit. Firstly, you can increase the quality of your videos, kinda, by uh, mucking around with the actual colors and everything you want to go into blur and then make sure the radius is between 0.4 and 0.45 that will make the details pop a bit more you can also go into the color wheels and make sure mid detail is between 40 and 80 i'll just settle for the sweet spot around 60 and that will just increase the quality of your video a bit more now once you're done with that you want to go into deliver and here you want to mess around with these values a little bit firstly you want to keep the format and mp4 if you need a lower format you can choose a format which is uh more compressed but uh well of a smaller quality uh and you should keep the codec at 265 this should provide a higher quality once you actually compress it the encoder should be whatever you have and video works best i only have the auto auto so that's pretty much it now the resolution between 1080p and 4k is barely uh, noticeable or the difference between those two resolutions is barely noticeable uh if you're less than 1.4 meters close to the screen so it is pretty well, it depends on your wishes, but you can go all the way up to 4K Ultra HD if you wanted to. Uh, so you can easily just select that if you want. The frame rate, keep it at whatever it is. You should be at 60. However, the critical part to this is the higher the frame rate and the higher the resolution, the higher the bit rate needs to be. You should prioritize the bit rate over the resolution. So I'll just keep it down at 10 80p but as you can see i'm at 60 frames per second and usually for 1080p 45k uh, bit rate is better or 45 kilobits per second however i'll just increase it to all the way to 90 i'll keep it at 95 which is for 4k uh, you can restrict it to this and you can make sure it is variable so that the bit rate falls if there is a black screen or something so that you can uh, save space even more but uh, restricting it to a high bit rate should be good for your video since it is the amount of information stored within one pixel and that should be higher of course your resolution if you're uh, unless you're really close to the screen will not be noticeable so just stick to a lower resolution and to a higher bit rate and once you're done with that that should be it that is pretty much all i know just determine the location and the file uh, the name of the file you want to save and then just go and add it to the render queue you can mess around with the audio too if you want add it to render queue then render all and that should be it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys next time 